Today we take apart the Red Magic 8 Pro. We have to find the hidden under display selfie camera as well as the RGB turbo cooling fan on the back and the 11 layer heat dissipation system that never sees the light of day unless you're here with me. Red Magic is over here doing stuff Samsung can only dream of and it costs way less. But first, fun little fact, I was cleaning up my office the other day and I found a new inbox LG Wing. This is one of the last and one of the coolest smartphones that LG has ever made. I kind of forgot they sent it to me. I should probably clean up my office a little more often. However, I do not need this, which means I will be giving it away to one of you. More on that at the end of the video. The important thing to remember though is that I'll be shipping it with my channel sponsor, Stamps.com. Stamps.com makes it super easy to print postage and labels right here from home, even for international shipping. No need to leave my house or stand in lines. It's ready to go in minutes. Time flies. Believe it or not, we are already 15% through 2023, and I don't want to waste any of my time standing in lines. For over 25 years now, Stamps.com has been saving over a million businesses time and money, up to 84% off UPS and USPS, the biggest discounts in the industry, and Stamps.com lets you compare rates so you can get the cheapest and fastest shipping available, right from your own computer and your own printer day or night. Stamps.com also integrates with every major marketplace and shopping cart. So if you want to level up your business, stamps.com slash jerryrig gets you a four-week trial, free postage, and free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts, just how we like it. Now it's time we find the insides of the Red Magic 8 Pro. Let's get started. I think it's pretty crazy that a selfie camera can be hidden under a screen underneath pixels and still be this good. Watch as I close the camera app and the pixels start to fill in where the camera hole punch would normally be, indistinguishable from the rest of the screen. Super cool and a game changer for future tech. Another thing I noticed after filming the durability test is that the RGBs aren't just limited to the turbo fan. They are also underneath the trigger text, the Red Magic logo, and the top trigger, acting as a charging indicator of sorts pulsing up the phone. Hard to see it on my brightly lit desk, but instead of me getting up to turn off the lights, let's just take it apart. By not having an official water resistance rating, we can hopefully assume that the glue holding this back glass to the phone is a little less intense than what we would see on phones that are watertight, and that is indeed the case. Using some heat, suction, and my razor blade, the totally transparent glass can be sliced off and removed pretty easily, leaving us with some very nothing-like aesthetic looking internals except for the air duct. Sitting between the glass and the internal components of the phone, air is pulled in from the right side and spit out the left side by the red, green, blue, and orange colored fan. Pulling off the decorative plastics on both the bottom and top of the phone, we do see quite a few LEDs running along the left edge, nine total to be precise. Nowhere near the 972 LEDs that we found inside the Nothing phone, but any RGB is a good RGB in my book. Now Nubia has deviated slightly from what we normally see, by this time not using normal Phillips head screws. I assume for aesthetic purposes, they've switched to using 18 T3 screws. When these are out, we can lift off the lower loudspeaker, which is still attached to the bottom plastics. No visible foam balls this time around. The upper segment comes off in two parts. The top portion, which is indeed plastic, and contains the upper loudspeaker. The lower portion is the air duct channel, and is totally separate from the rest of the phone. Slathered with pink thermal paste on the back, it's also made from metal. As you can see from my silver slice marks through the subtle checkerboard paint job. I imagine heat comes off the circuits underneath the copper foil, which has another layer of non-conductive thermal paste, and then gets transferred into the metal air duct channel which acts as a heatsink and gets cooled down by the air flowing over the top of it, thanks to our little 2000 RPM turbofan. Plus, there's a little wire grate over the intake, which I assume helps keep out dust and other debris. Water can still totally get inside though, so make sure to keep this guy dry. We'll get a closer look at the fan here in a second. It's interesting to see a completely unused port here on the motherboard. It looks like a battery connection. The actual battery connection in use is over to the right side of the silver Phillips head screw. 
I can pop it off like a little Lego. The battery is dual cell, so I wonder if Nubia was thinking about giving each half of the battery its own plug at some point. The battery gets removed without too much fuss, which is nice. Each half is 3000 milliamp hours for a total of 6000. I'll remove the one Phillips head screw and one standoff screw from the main motherboard, along with a bunch of signal wires. The motherboard has our camera still plugged in. We have our 50 megapixel main sensor with no OIS. The 8 megapixel ultra wide is up top, also with no OIS. And here on the back is where we find the rest of the 11 layer heat dissipation system. The main processor is back here and is using copious amounts of thermal paste and a few copper layers to transfer even more heat to the thermal paste on the frame of the phone. There is no lack of thermal paste. There is also a massive copper vapor chamber which helps all the heat escape out through the front of the phone through that 120Hz OLED display. There's also a third rear camera that I forgot about. The 2 megapixel macro camera is just floating around back here willy nilly. It's okay though, nobody would notice if it went missing. We also have the headphone jack up top, which is nice to see. There's also a square vibrator motor in the top edge of the phone, along with an equally sized vibrator in the bottom half. I assume they're there for a more realistic haptic gaming experience. Since video game controllers also have vibrators on both sides, it's nice to see them double up here on a gaming phone as well. The bottom board contains a SIM card tray, as well as a USB-C port, which can charge the phone up at 65 watts. I also just noticed that there is a China only variant of this phone that can charge at 80 watts. So I wonder if that variant is the one that utilizes both battery plugs on the motherboard. Very interesting. Our little fan buddy is very securely attached to the phone body. No real easy way of extracting him safely or in one piece. But we still have to take a look. The fins on the fan blade are made from a translucent plastic. And we can see the LEDs that shine up through the fan are still embedded on the ribbon that powers the whole thing. No Lego style plugs on this unit, just square gold contact pads that rest up against the motherboard when the motherboard is still in the phone. So yeah, my fan is definitely broken now, but just like with all games, sometimes you don't win. And that's okay, as long as you had fun along the way. Even with a casualty, I think the Red Magic 8 Pro will still function when I put it back together. Hopefully. The last thing we can take a look at is the edge to edge 120Hz OLED display. You can see where the camera unit and light sensors sit underneath the pixels. Pretty crazy that the camera sensor can compensate for the yellowish shift from the lens. It's gotta be like putting on yellow sunglasses and still seeing clearly. Thumbs up to Nubia for figuring that out. It's also pretty impressive when a phone can survive both a complete durability test and a teardown and still turn on. So hopefully this 8 Pro is still with us even though we damaged the cooling layers and removed the fan. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, I do have a brand new LG Wing to give away. Thank you for helping clean out my office. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment. Maybe let me know your favorite video game if you're into that kind of thing. I'll pick one random comment and ship them the LG Wing. Remember, my response comment will always have my channel name and a verified check mark next to it. Anything else out there pretending to be me is a scam. YouTube has a scam comment epidemic going on across all the channels everywhere. So be safe out there. Honestly, I think the LEDs on the back look way cooler not being hidden underneath the black plastics. So I'm just going to leave those off for now. And the whole thing still appears to be working. I mean, the fan doesn't blow anymore, of course, but that's okay. We learned a lot and got to see the insides. It's a super cool phone. If all the rest of the phones this year are as innovative as this Red Magic 8 Pro, we have a very interesting year ahead of us. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you around.